welcome back to Gomer Plays Quint's Revenge! Last time we took on Clash Man. It's supposed to be Crash Man. I... Uh, I don't know why they decided to keep that particular one from the Game Boy version, but oh well. We're going Metal Man. Let's see what happens. Whee! Oh hey, an energy tank. Right off the bat. And if you do it right, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that looks ominous. Better dash. Ah! It's coming after me! <laughs> and yes, we now have Molten Metal. As opposed to no Molten Metal in the, whoa, in the NES version. Ah! Oh shit. Ah! Oh hey look! Sakagarn! Yes. Suck it, Joe. <laughs> there we go. And, of course, it... Wow, this thing is just... It's eating through power like nobody's business! Woo! That was close. Ah. Ah. Fuck. I do like how they did the backgrounds, though. Whee! Oh, shit. Oh! God damn! No wonder. The fact that I can't seem to destroy them tells me that these will keep recurring. Okay. Yeah, and uh, as you could probably guess, that molten metal coming down from there is kind of fatal. Whee! Oh, oh shit! You remember these things from the second game? They decided to make this into a mini boss. Yay! It's like taking the like taking normal enemies from Lolo 3 and making them into bosses. Except this one, not too awful bad. If you're unprepared for it. Unless you're unprepared for it. Ah! Hi, Mr. Met. Hi, Mr. Met. Ow! Well, normally there would be a 1-up there, but I have infinite 1-ups, so... Yeah, bye bye ah, Wait, did he just... Oh, shit. Ah. Woo! That was close. Oh, and another one of these. And and it takes out the Mets too. Oh shit! 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 Ah! Oh wow, that was fast. So, Clash Blaster should be the Metal Man's weakness, like it was in the Game Boy game. Yep, and it is. What the fuck was that? Ah! Ah, uh, no. Boom! Yay! <laughs> that was easy. A little too easy. The Metal Catcher, instead of the Metal Blade. I think I could probably figure out why they went with Metal Catcher instead of Metal Blade. Come here. Fire, thank you. And always double save, just in case. Because I never know when Fraps is going to crap out on me. It's being haved so far today. But, but yeah, the Metal Catcher, I can understand why, because, you know, as somebody who does try and put together games, I can understand the, the pain in the ass it would be to program the actual Metal Blade functions. No, 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 do not want, do not want. <laughs> so that's three down, five more to go, definitely a shorter video, wow. This, is, this isn't overly difficult once you know what you're doing, but... But, you know, for your, you know, it's, it's, so far, it's a decent game for beginners. Um, you know, to an, to an extent. Um, let's just wait till we get to later levels and we'll see how well I say that. <laughs> Although, to be fair, Metal Man is a good level to start off with anyway, so. Because, you know, even without the screen-clearing Clash Blaster, you know, he's not too awful bad as a first boss. I just wanted to go Air Man because I like that music. Ah, so at any rate, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can do the usual. Like, like, subscribe for more. Leave some constructive criticism in the comments if you've got any. Or you can even just say, hey, this is cool. Or you could be like the cartoon hero who leaves um, some, some really bad puns in the goddamn comments. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my uh, Mega Man Rock Force video. Uh, where, where I think it's Terror Town, I think is the title of it. Yeah, it's the ninth one in. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm plugging one of my own other videos. How about that? Hmm. 
So, but speaking of plugging, I do have a title card artist. She doesn't do the title card art for this particular series. If you watch my Saints Row 4 series, that is her artwork. Her name is Becky Hopkins. Check her out at becky-hopkins.com. Not only is she my title card artist and award-winning animator, she's also my girlfriend. Give her some love. Yay. And give her some money, too, because she'll do a really good job for you for a good amount of money. Um, and you can commission her by going to patreon.com slash beckyhop. And, oh, hey, speaking of Patreon, I have one myself. Patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And for as little as $1 per production, you get videos like this at least a day early. And $5 per production will get you some advertising space on my various projects, uh, including podcasts, these videos, and on the website. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that that takes care of that. Um, enough plugging. We will see you in the next video. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.